Is it true? Are Don Wells' stepsisters, Jeannie and Mary, going to beat Don and Candace to the Phil McGraw finish line? Let's break down the facts. I haven't seen an episode of Dr. Phil for years. Kind of hard to do once you cancel cable. However, if I still watched, I wouldn't be interested in hearing any more of what any of Don Wells' relatives have to say. Since when has this become about Don, and how will rehashing Don's alleged past force Candace to admit what happened to Summer Wells on her watch? Didn't the producers of the Dr. Phil show stop to think that by having Don's two stepsisters on, and I'm not really sure who this genie is in relation to Don, since I just want to know what happened to Summer, that this might jeopardize having Don and Candace on? I already had a hard time believing that these two would be dumb enough to let this 10-gallon Texan have a crack at them. There's got to be more than $500 by way of compensation, too, for Mary and Jeannie to be looking to beat Donnie to the punchline. I can see Don Wells going on Dr. Phil, because compared to Candace, his conscience is a lot clearer. By the time that Candace called him, Summer was already gone. Gone because of an accident on Candace's watch, which Don covered up for by burying Summer someplace where she wouldn't be found? Or gone because the last person who picked Summer up from that shed didn't bring her back? For me, I heard about enough from Mary on the interview room. Unless she was prepared to back up her latest allegations against Don Wells, with information that law enforcement could substantiate, she had no business floating that trafficking theory out there. Now I hear that Grandis may be back, having chug, chug, chugged her shitty, shitty, shitty trailer home back up Ben Hill Road. If this is true, it looks like Grandis thinks that the coast is clear and that her girl Candace won't get into any trouble over what happened to Summer, and for that matter, neither will she. These people make my skin crawl, all of them. Bringing children up among abject neglect and filth. Candace has now lost six children, five to child services and the youngest to God knows what. I don't think Don and Candace will ever get those boys back and I don't think they really care. They sure aren't acting like it or their house would look like the ending scenes from Flip or Flop. Who knows? Maybe Grandis came back to prevent Candace from going on the Dr. Phil show. After all, Candace has a lot more to lose than Don does. I don't know whose names are on the deed to that Ben Hill Road property, but if Don's is, he can tell Grandis to hit the road again. These people are low life, bad news, all of them. The only thing I want to hear any of them say to Dr. Phil McGraw is the truth about what happened to Little Summer Wells. Now I'd like to hear from you. In the comments below, let me know if you're interested in seeing Don Wells' relatives on Dr. Phil, or if you'd rather see Don and Candace Wells. Or, if you'd rather just find out what happened to Summer Wells and see Don and Candace in jail. Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video, where we'll continue to break down the facts.